the next one will be the uncollectible accounts this is your pro forma entry for the preparation of the uh, adjustments to doubtful accounts so there are many ways or there are many terms there are many terms on how you are going to record the doubtful account so this is just one doubtful accounts expense allowance for doubtful accounts another term you can use is this is much shorter okay mubo raman ng words so budgets budgets okay budgets expense okay and then you have the allowance for budgets so parison gud sila so kung budgets ang gamit nga term budgets sa dimo hang gamiton diri and then like this one doubtful accounts expense so doubtful accounts sa dimong i-credit another is kani uncollectible accounts so uncollectible accounts expense allowance for uncollectible accounts so parehas yun na sila depende sa unsay gigamit sa inyong company nga term kay naa may chart of accounts sa inyong company so ifollow ninyo ko unsa tong na chart of accounts so there are three ways on how you are going to uh, compute the doubtful accounts so the first one is the percentage of sales method so to compute for the doubtful accounts expense you multiply the net credit sales by the percentage estimated to be doubtful of collection that's why it's called as percentage of sales because you are going to multiply the percentage against the sales so this is the net credit sales and again the entry is doubtful accounts expense allowance for doubtful accounts budgets expense credit allowance for uh, budgets uncollectible accounts expense credit allowance for uncollectible accounts whichever is used in your company or whichever is specified in the problem so to compute for the allowance for doubtful accounts so just um add the doubtful accounts expense for the year computed in which one number two number two asan man to okay um for a while Bakit nga no number two man siya? okay so number one to compute the allowance for doubtful accounts, add the doubtful accounts expense for the year, which is computing number one, to the allowance for doubtful accounts unadjusted balance. So this is your unadjusted or the beginning balance. So money siya tong prior year, pag last year, on niya ato siyang punan sa doubtful accounts for the current year. So current year ni siya, current iga. So, you will get the ending balance. Ending balance for the current year. For example, you have here the sales for the year, sales returns, sales discounts, beginning balance of, uh, not beginning, December 31 balance for the accounts receivable, and the allowance for doubtful accounts at the start of the year, or this is your beginning balance. So, compute the doubtful accounts expense allowance for doubtful accounts you assuming that doubtful accounts would be five percent of the net credit sales so the first thing you need to do is to compute the net credit sales so the net credit sales is sales minus your sales returns and allowance minus sales discounts so that's how you will get your net sales so two million minus five thousand five hundred minus twenty five thousand you will get 1,969,500. Okay, let's check. Check first this is correct. Okay, so 1,969. Okay, that's correct. Next step is you multiply the rate. You multiply the rate of 5% uh, by the net sales. So that's why 5% times 1,969,500. Okay. So, you will get 98,475. So, this is your doubtful accounts expense. That's letter A. Next is to get the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. 
So just simply uh, get the beginning balance or the unadjusted balance of your allowance, which is 25 that's given in the problem, and simply add what we have computed previously. 98475 so this is your ending balance but take note when you prepare the journal entries katurang doubtful accounts expense imuhang i debit ug credit dili ning 1 to 123475 okay automatic na man siya nga ma-adjust imong allowance once you credit this amount 98475 The next method is the percentage of accounts receivable. So this one is a bit uh, tricky compared to the first one. Kay you have to take note nga ang makumpute ni mo pagkahuman ni mag multiply sa percentage is not automatically the doubtful accounts expense. Diba tong sa ni Agi, inag multiply na to sa percentage uh, here. Diba? Pag multiply na to diri sa 5%, diba ang answer kay doubtful accounts expense? Diba? Iyahang amount nga ma-compute. But this one, for the percentage of receivable, dili. Okay? Yung multiply ni mo, lahi ang, ang na-compute. Dili siya doubtful accounts expense. Okay? Let's use the same uh, given in the previous problem, but assume that they use 8% of the outstanding accounts receivable. Okay, that's why it's called as percentage of accounts receivable. Kay percentage siya sa accounts receivable. So, first is you multiply the rate kaning to 8%, I multiply ni muna siya sa accounts receivable. So, the rate, so, money siya, percentage, times accounts receivable. Pero, kani siya, it nang multiply ni mo, ang answer ani is the required allowance. Dili allowance for budgets. Unlike the previous problem, tong percentage of sales, nga in multiply ni mo, ang answer nga makuha is the doubtful accounts expense. But, if that's a percentage of AR or percentage of receivable, the amount that you will derive after you multiply the percentage, that's the required allowance or the allowance for doubtful accounts uh, ending balance. Okay? So, ending balance siya. Dili itong doubtful accounts expense. So, that's why the first step here is to compute the required allowance. So, the required allowance is the allowance for doubtful accounts ending balance. To get the required allowance, you multiply the AR balance by the percentage. So, that's why here, 450, which is our AR accounts receivable, times the percentage nga 8% will get 36,000. Again, this one is your um, required allowance or allowance for doubtful accounts ending balance. Dili ang doubtful accounts expense. So, you need to compute na po pila ang doubtful accounts expense. So, sa na siya. So, this is your required allowance. Kato na compute na to. And you deduct. Deduct siya. Deduct the allowance for doubtful accounts on January 1. Or this is your beginning balance beginning balance of the allowance. So, therefore, the doubtful accounts expense is the remaining portion, which is 11,000. So, lahi siya upa maagi at isa. Okay? So, doubtful accounts expense is 11,000 and allowance for doubtful accounts, 11,000. Okay? And the last one for the methods in computing the doubtful accounts is the aging of accounts receivable. So again, since this is based on the accounts receivable, just like the previous nga method, ang answer nga ma-derive na to ani is the required allowance. Okay? So ang unang ma-compute ani kay ang required allowance. Parehas adtong uh, percentage of accounts receivable. So, these are the 
uh, information. So we have the accounts receivable, 50,000, and the allowance is 500. So if that's aging, uh, the receivables are classified according to the age. And if you are the clerk sa company, so ikaw ang mag-determine kung pila naman naka days or pila naman naka years na ang receivable. So mana by age siya. So for example, this one, this is uh, 0 to 30 days, Manisha, 0 to 30 days, 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90 days, 91 to 120, over 120 days. So, meaning, kanyang 0 to 30, bago pa din siya, iutang sa iyong customer, niya kanya siya, uh, 2 months to, uh, no, uh, sakto, 2 months to 3 months ago, so, nga na siya. So, i-identify ni mo asa na belong ang receivable. So, grupuhon ni mo sila according to their age. Next is you multiply the accounts receivable by the corresponding rate of uncollectible for each age. So, di ba na naman taan ni pila na pila ang iyahang mga amounts per age. So, i-determine mo uh, based on the estimate of the management pila ang uncollectible. So, buhaton is i-multiply na sila. Multiply. And then, maan na siyang answer. After that, yung na siyang i-sum up, which is 1,017.50. So, out of the 50,000 pesos nga receivable, 1,017.50 ang imong na-estimate nga dili makulikta. So, this is the required allowance. And remember, pag unahon o compute ang required allowance, compute na po sunod ang doubtful accounts expense. Unsa o man siya pag compute. So, the required allowance is 1017.50 and you deduct the existing allowance for doubtful accounts, which is 500. So, the difference is your doubtful accounts expense which is the same siya o process katong percentage of accounts receivable nga method. Diba? Okay, una pag compute ito ang required allowance o niya gididak po dito ang allowance for doubtful accounts nga unadjusted or katong beginning balance. So, ang result is the doubtful accounts expense. Same entry doubtful accounts expense credit allowance for doubtful full accounts if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons thank you for watching